Hello everyone, my name is Corey Stewart and I am the founder and creative director of Embrace Disruption PR. Today I wanted to take a second to talk to you a little bit because I get a lot of questions from people wanting to start their own blog. When you start your blog, it's really important that you read, and I'll tell you why. So in read, the first letter, obviously, is R, and that's for research. First, you need to figure out what you're going to be blogging about, whether it's your life, whether it's technology, wh whatever floats your boat. You need to look around and see what other people are doing in the space. You need to know what floats your boat, okay? Looking and seeing, do I like the sidebar on the left or right? Do I like uh, a menu that's clear and concise or do I like a little more description? What kind of images do I like? Do I like it when the images fill up the full page or do I like it when they're smaller? All of these small details are really important in the beginning because that's how you're gonna figure out what your blog should look like. Also, when you're on competitor sites, take a look at when they're posting. Look and see if they're doing it every day, if they're doing it every other day, what the schedule kind of looks like for their blog, because you need to take that into account when you get into the bigger decision of what you're going to do in terms of timing. So that covers our research. The second letter in read, hello, is E. You need to start evaluating. Look at the competitor blogs in the right light. Understand what's missing in other people's work. Where is your niche? What makes sense to write about that perhaps someone hasn't started talking about yet? And if someone is talking about it, do something differently. Go a little bit deeper in what you're talking about. But if it's something like technology, putting your own spin on it and making it unique is going to be really important when it comes to getting your name out there and also when promotion comes along for your blog. Next in read is A, obviously. A is for anticipate. So one thing I like to say to people who are just starting blogs is really anticipate the workload. It's not as simple as it seems. I know it looks like people just write something, post it up there, and it's good to go. There's a lot of thinking involved in crafting postings. So make sure that you're ready to make that commitment. On the EDPR blog, we spend time making sure that we have a consistent schedule that we follow. On Mondays, we'll talk about an infographic that we found throughout the week that we find particularly interesting. Tuesdays, we'll have someone talk about something that's current in the PR field that is interesting and going to help our readers as well as our clients learn a little bit about PR. Last in Anticipate is anticipating your promotional needs. Of course, social media is a big one. Making sure that you're tweeting out your blog posts, sharing them on Facebook, also using Pinterest. It's a great way. If you have images in your blog post, pin them and put some description underneath it and tell people about why they should be clicking on it and go to your blog. YouTube is another great way. You can always make customized content to put inside your blogs. And if you'll notice, that's what our Film Friday is all about. So promotion is really key. Get in front of wherever you can and make your presence known. If it means getting a guest blogger from a very well-known site and having them do a guest post on your blog so that perhaps you can have some of their readers come over and explore your blog or experience it or, you know, get frisky with it, figure out innovative ways to draw people to your blog. So the fourth and final part of read is D, decipher. Now, what does that mean? You need to decipher on a name for your blog. Make it catchy. Make it something that perks people's interest. Something that's really kind of cool. Something that when you see it, you would be encouraged to click on it. Because really, if you aren't going to care about it, why is anyone else? Make sure you get a really good domain name. Now this is key. It should be close, if not the same, as the name of your blog. This is important for two reasons. One, because it's damn easy, and two, because it improves your SEO. It's really important to have a great domain name so you're searchable and it's easy to find you. This is crucial in getting new readers. Next, you need to think about your analytics and your measurement. Look at your dashboard and see what posts are getting a lot of reads. See what posts are getting a lot of clicks. See what posts are getting a lot of engagement. Are there more comments on certain posts than others? Then that's how you can really decide, perhaps I need to either stay in the direction I'm going on or curve off a little bit and talk more about the posts or the topics that have gotten a lot of exposure or reads. You have to be smart in this environment because if you remain stagnant and don't change, you will not get to the point where people are interested in what you have to say. And that covers read. 
So, research, evaluate, anticipate, and decipher. Good luck blogging, you guys. I know you can do it. If you have a new blog that you'd like to share with us, we'd love to check it out. Put it in the comments below and give us a like if uh, you really enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way. Thanks a lot, and don't forget to embrace disruption.